everyone. This is Zach Miller back with Tapped In TV. Um, this is a really exciting episode I'm going to be going over today. Um, this is a project I've been working on for a while. We're gearing up to actually launch. We, we plan to have our testnet version done um, end, of, end of January. And we plan to launch the full mainnet no later than end of Q1 of 2022 so exciting happy new year to everyone um happy, happy holidays uh other than that man let's get into it so a lot of you i'm sure have not heard of exhaust right so what is exhaust exhaust is a suite of tools that powers the evolution of cultural assets um so for those you real degens who are really you know in the trenches with with DeFi and uh, crypto as a whole and exploring new projects this won't be as foreign um, of a concept to you compared to most people so I'll, I'll try to keep it brief but also try to you know dive in depth so everyone can understand right so if, if you're familiar with something like stock x uh sells sneakers watches um any type of clothing apparel uh, that has some type of exclusive um to it right they cre created a, a buy and sell marketplace like a, a, a basically an order book um for assets that aren't considered uh, traditional assets like a stock or real estate or something like that but these these assets like sneakers clearly resell for five sometimes 10x um the price that they retail for so it clearly is an asset it appreciates you know over time in, in most cases so in the crypto space there's an idea of creating synthetics um which is basically mirroring an asset uh a real world asset on chain they do this with the stock market so a very you know popular projects um synthetics is actually the name of it um and mirror on the terra ecosystem um they have done something along those lines of creating a synthetic version of uh, stocks and cryptocurrencies on chain to give users price exposure. So you can trade these synthetic assets and the, the underlying value is pegged to the same value as the real asset. So for example, you can buy Apple stock on Mirror and when Apple stock moves on the real New York Stock Exchange, so does the mirrored version of it. So you still benefit from the rise and the fall of the price of these synthetic assets. So, you know, why would I wanna do this with sneakers and cultural assets? Um, it, it bridges the gap between people who had access. Uh, not everybody even has a StockX that will, you know, deliver to their home or they can get shipped to their, to their facility. Um, if they were to want to purchase a sneaker as a, even as a, a resale price, right? Um, not everybody's looking to hold the physical asset. I mean, there's there's resellers, there's flippers, people who don't want to actually go through the process of going down to Foot Locker, or Nike store, or whatever, and getting this particular shoe. Um, and I keep focusing on shoes. This is just our starting point. Kind of how Amazon started with books, we're starting with sneakers. Um, I, I also want to address the understanding of this allows, you know, price speculation, a, a, an alternative instrument to invest in that wasn't currently present. I just kind of want to throw out there like a new paradigm that you can really turn almost anything in this day and age into an asset if the right demand is generated from a, a group of people. Um, I think this is cool because it's something that a lot of people know. I mean, you got people creating bots in order to invest in sneakers. A large majority of people know about the sneaker game. Um, and even those who don't, this is a, a way for you to kind of hedge your bets without, you know, running into the issue. Of, I can't actually get it because I'm, I'm getting beat by bots or I'm getting beat by, you know, uh, people who, who did raffles before I did or something along those lines. So I guess. A large overview is, is, is out there now, I've presented it. You can, anyone can go to the documentation and see what exactly in detail it is. But that's the, the overview. This is a uh, marketplace or an exchange for synthetic cultural assets um, for anybody to access. This will all be done through Web3. And I've waited a while to kind of expose this because it's pretty novel. Uh, there's, there's no one else has done this. You usually see a lot of copy paste uh, projects, you know, just go moving from one chain to the next. This is something uh, my brother and I, he's a co-founder as well, and we have a whole team behind us we're super proud of. Um, we're, we continue to 
to move into 2022. We're seeking some some grants from um, two different uh, chains right now, but I wanted to just make this video to explain to everyone uh, what Exhaust is. So yeah, this is just a landing page. We have our GitHub here, um, you know, Telegram, Twitter, and then our GitBook. Um, you hit these any of these links that all operate. Uh, it'll take if you hit the GitBook link, it'll take you to um, basically my what I call the docs for us, right? So this documentation explains in most part what I just went over um, in detail. The actual marketplace to swap between assets is called the exchange. Um, this is just me breaking it down, giving you references of what it looks like uh, compared to like something like a StockX and how we, we've kind of changed and altered it, uh, the, the game a little bit. And more, more detail in exactly how it works uh, is in this documentation as well as uh, we'll be pushing out Medium articles uh, every single week, uh, even past launch. We'll just continue to keep that cadence so everyone's kind of up to speed on where our head's at and why we created this and where we're trying to take it. Um, you also got some sneak peeks of what is coming up. Um, the exhibit, I'll go ahead and go ahead and say where we're trying to head with this and we'll see if we if we get there, um, assuming everything is, is uh, moves according to plan. The exhibit is an idea that after you have played with our exchange or the exchange and you ready to kind of cash out, you have a couple options. You can either convert your sauce tokens or XST back into a stable coin, uh, meaning to, to kind of cash out of your position, or you can uh, utilize it in the exhibit, which is where you can buy real sneakers or real assets um, to be shipped to your house, you know, however you want to, you know, it could be apartment house, wherever you would like this to be uh, uh, sent to using your crypto, right? So ultimately, it's like rewarding people who wanted to be a part of our DAO. You stake your tokens, you've utilized the protocol, and you've either reaped the benefits of trading the assets or you just simply wanted to have access to this marketplace. So in order to do that, you had to stake your sauce tokens. Um, which gives you access to the exhibit. So this is kind of something we want to give back to one, our supporters, two, people who really do love sneakers and love collecting, want the physical items, but finding it tough for them to be able to uh, to get them. So we're, we're creating a way for you to have access to them. And the entry point is that you, you have to stake these tokens. So how do you avoid that? Well, bots don't stake. You have to sign transactions and do a bunch of other things. Um, it would be kind of pointless to make a bot to stake tokens. You would just do that personally. So it kind of gives us validation that this is a real person and they're actually interested in buying the sneakers. Um, part of staking knows that you have some form of collateral up front um, for us. So now you have to basically utilize the, the protocol the way we intend it. Um, otherwise, you have collateral kind of tied up in it. Uh, so yeah, this just goes through and explains, you know, the token tokenization of everything, um, the actual tokens, the sauce token we'll be using throughout the protocol, um, how the governance works within the XDAO, um, tokenomics splits and the breakdowns of how we want to utilize our, our, the token allocation. We're only going to re release 6 million tokens to start. We don't plan on minting any more, um, but there might be a burn, so look out for that. And the roadmap is as clear as, as anyone can see here. It'll explain what we have up going for Q1 all the way through Q4 this year. Um, a lot of exciting partnerships we see coming in the future. We're tying up a few early partnerships and connections, and we hope to see a lot more uh, in the future. We, we want to build this for the community and build this from the ground up. Um, we see a lot of f financial or DeFi products you know, come out. And this, to me, was a, a clash between culture and kind of, you know, fintech, blockchain, you name it. And the only way we could ever create something like this is because we live a different walk of life than a lot of people who create in this space. So we, we know the value behind these things and we also understand the cultural significance and what we feel would be really awesome uh, to bridge the gap for a lot of people. This is what I feel to get a certain demographic and a certain you know type of consumer into web3 which is ultimately like liberation uh for for a lot of us we feel like we're trying to lead people to something that we feel is great um 
this is something that's a step forward. No one really cares just to trade stocks. A lot of people don't trade stocks in, in my generation or my age group because they feel it's boring. You know, crypto is more exciting. It pumps faster. It's more and things are happening every day. Uh, it just makes it more beneficial for our, or more enticing for a younger age group to, you know, be a part of it. Um, so if I could bridge the gap for them and actually put something they might be interested in investing into um, with this angle, I think it, I think it full circles, creates a circular economy um, in the best possible manner. So anyway, guys, I know it was a lot. It was long winded, but this is like I said, this is something we've been working on for a while. Um, we're just getting all the pieces in place and it's super, super exciting. Look out for this. Please you know, check out the Twitter um check us out on linkedin we have um, twitter telegram linkedin like i said the medium is going to start pushing out articles our first article is going out tomorrow um and then we'll be developing in the backdrop as we keep moving man i'll try to keep you updated with some screenshots of you know updates on the ui uh kind of pushing out you know what we're doing on, on the github and explaining in detail but more to come uh, I hope you are, are everyone's excited about you know what we're creating if you have any questions or you want more details on what exactly it is if you're you know if you're interested in like how do you get in early how do you invest we'll put more details on that in the future but first and foremost we just want to get out here exactly what it is um, and if some of this stuff went over your head like I said you're welcome please go to docs.exhaust.io and that'll have all the details that you want um, it's public so you can you can see everything there and then also if you want to hand over head over to the linkedin page um same thing uh you know in twitter as well just everything all socials will have exhaust.io or just exhaust um other than that guys i appreciate you listening um we and we have not chosen which chain we want to launch on so if you have any input please comment on this video and say which chain you would like for us to launch on um we in terms of like tvl uh, exposure. We know Polygon and Avalanche right now are moving pretty heavy. Um, I do marketing for Fuse and business development. So the Fuse network is like a, a hot second where I want to get thrown on there as soon as we start building out the ecosystem some more. Um, but I'm not against Terra. I'm not against uh, um, Polygon or, or Harmony, anything else, man. Where do you guys feel like is the best fit for this that you would utilize? We have no problems with porting it and, and building on that as well. So like once again, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And you know, I, I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm just super excited about everything that, that has gone on. Um, so we look forward to, uh, the next couple weeks and really the next month or two, this first quarter. Also, if any of you guys will be down in Miami for the 17th through the 19th for the North American Bitcoin conference, let me know. Um, I will actually be partaking in that as well. So January 17th to 19th, that is. Um, other than that, I'm out.